Babe, <laughs> Babe. I'm leaving that in. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Okay, so I'm about to take my Ozempic shot. I actually don't do it. My girlfriend does it because I know I cannot inject myself with a needle. So this is my third Ozempic shot, but the first one did not count. I'm nervous, even though it's the third time. I know it's not gonna hurt. So you're able to do it in your thigh or your stomach. I just do it in my stomach because I had to take injections for a couple months after I had my hysterectomy. Ozempic is just once a week, okay? So I had to take two a day to prevent like blood clots or whatever. So I'm just used to it in the stomach. This is the Ozempic pen. <laughs> um, so first things we do is I choose a spot where I feel most comfortable. Okay, where are we going? I guess like right here. Have we done it here before? Oh, let's do it right here. We clean it with alcohol. My stomach. Let's do it right here, baby. Ooh, I'm scared! It's a new needle each time. It comes with six needles. She already washed her hands. I don't want to show you guys the actual needle going inside of me. So it's like right here. So she twists it to 0.25. She sticks it in, and then we count to six very slowly. <laughs> I don't look. All right, ready, baby? Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's done. I just happened to do it a little slower so we can get every single drop. So we're going to see how this shot treats me. I hope it's good. Oh, my God, is that a loose dog? The Ozempic shot, making me hallucinate. Okay. Uh -huh. It's time for my protein shake, but we're gonna try a new flavor. You guys ready for this? Cake batter delight. Like the chocolate peanut butter is great and all, but I would love to have like different ones to try. And then I'm gonna get me a water bottle because I also drink a water bottle with this. So I have water in my sissy arm. Do 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 do, take it yeah. Oh wait, yeah, the water's literally right in front of my face. You're supposed to shake your premier protein. Alrighty. I knew, I knew it was gonna smell like that. It just smells like protein. All right. Super sweet. Not my favorite thing in the world. Whew. I'm not gonna waste them though. I'm gonna chug it. Um, I give it about a three out of 10. 3.5 out of 10. Don't try these. Don't try this at home. It's dangerous. Chocolate peanut butter though. Try it. Drink it. So good. Like we were drinking it yesterday. I had my girlfriend try it and we were like, oh my god. Put it in a blender with some ice and a banana. A banana peanut butter chocolate like shake smoothie moment. Yes. Update. Rarity is still obsessed with her box. I'm thinking about like decorating it because she loves it. So. <laughs> Look. So sweet. I need you to drop what you're doing. Go to, what's it called? Trader Joe's. Get this dressing, okay? Green goddess dressing. <gasps> so good, it's avocado, green onion, lemon juice, chives, basil, and garlic. There's nothing dressy about Trader Joe's green goddess dressing, except that you use it to dress salads. Healthy, simple ingredients, so Oh my god, it's so good. For two tablespoons is 20 calories. I've never steered you guys wrong. I really don't think so. So, listen to me, folks. Get it. So, it has been almost a week. Yeah, I got sick. Didn't feel like filming. I thought it would be very pointless and boring. I've just been, like, resting up. I have been doing tons of Instagram q and A's. That has been its own special little treat. I kind of have went a little crazy the last few days. But I've just been chilling in bed, and I don't do that anymore. And I've been so bored, and... I'm feeling better though. I'm feeling so much better. That means I'm gonna be back on the filming game. I've missed talking to you guys. Like it's been almost a week. No. And already tomorrow is my next Ozempic shot. Like I literally, for you guys, just took one and I'm fixing to take another. I'm actually currently watching Alex's Shook. Um, he's doing the live stream and I'm gonna go take a little shower moment. But yeah, it's just been, it's been a time. It's been a boring, boring, boring time. But we're back. Hello, it is the next day. 
August 1st, the beginning of a new month. I love a new month, new goals, new beginnings. I kind of wanted to do like a weight loss weigh-in update moment. If you do not believe my weigh-ins and what I am telling you, you have absolutely zero proof that I am lying. So you are choosing not to believe me. Um, I think it would be silly for me to lie, especially on this Ozempic journey. I don't want to lie to my supporters. I don't want to lie to my viewers. I just know that people don't believe my weigh-ins, which is so funny. I, I, I can't think of a single reason why you wouldn't. Okay, so old scale says 494.6. 489.8 hold on baby so one more time i'm trying to step on it to be exact each time you know 490.8 pounds all right i guess i weigh less than i thought so that's a round of applause like it's clear that i've lost weight but even when i bring out the positivity even when i ignore the negativity a lot of you still stay in my comments. You live there. You live there. So, I'm not making these videos for you. It's like, the more I try to communicate with you, the, like, the worse the hate gets. I'm just like, can we find a middle ground? So I have my weights down on a piece of paper. So on week one, which was July 11th, first week on Ozempic, I weighed in at 491.4. July 18, I weighed in at 489.2, which was a 2.2 pound loss that week. July 25th, I weighed in at 479.8, which that week I was down 9.4. Um... The Ozempic was truly hardcore working. And then today, August 1st, which is the beginning of week four, I weighed in at 476.0. So I was down 3.8 this week. Since I've taken Ozempic, I am down almost 16 pounds. This is the lowest I have been in a very, very long time. Years. <laughs> because it's just Ozempic helps. It, it does. And it makes me want to be better. It makes me want to do better. I am very close to being down 100 pounds in total. Um, in total, I am down... Let's do a little calculator moment because... <gasps> my brain ain't braining, okay? So I'm down 96.4 pounds. So we have 3.6 to go. 96.4 pounds. Wow. I could possibly see myself uh, reaching that next week. So I do have an August goal. I would like to lose 16.2 pounds this month um i want to be 459.8 i think that would be really cool like that's a, a milestone i'd be in the 450s as long as i lose at least 10 pounds that'd be cool but i want 16.2 um i think that would i think that'd be really great um i'll definitely be reaching 100 pounds down this month i don't know i kind of feel like i'm gonna maybe be a little numb because it's been a long time coming i almost wonder if like am i even gonna feel anything when it happens but I guess we'll see. So this tortellini has been something that I have thoroughly been enjoy eating. Been enjoy, wait. Been enjoy eating. Wait, how do you say it? <laughs> been enjoying. So what I do, so the serving's already out and stuff because it's one cup per serving for 300 calories and there's five servings per container. So I'm gonna show you what I do because I don't want to cook all of this at once. So this is what I do. So one cup, and then I simply just do this five times. So that's one, here's two, three, four, no, wait, first one. and then fifth, and there's always some remaining. So I just go back through, I make sure they're all about the same in weight. Like this one needs a little more, I can already tell. And then after I do that, I just put them in the fridge. Um, yeah so there we go because i'm not eating them now i'm actually gonna have some pot stickers where i'm gonna make a little saucy sauce it's gonna be soy sauce sriracha scallions and sesame seeds okay you guys completely different day i'm still just trying to rest up a little bit from being sick but i am feeling better we're gonna do a torrid moment so as you guys know i was working on this bag but another bag came in so Ooh, okay, okay. Size six shirt. It's like Christmas every time I do this because I forget what I got. Like this bag is from months ago. So it's just a pink Barbie shirt, which I love this. Oh my God, I love this so much. So I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing now. I uh, forget that I have certain clothing. Also from Torrid. Okay, ready? Boop. 
So here she is, and she is a little over the shoulder moment, and I love that I have a black bra because it matches. I really don't care if my bra strap shows. There's just as long as the bra strap uh, matches the shirt, you know what I'm saying? So this is what it looks like. Seems a little see-through, which I'm fine with. Super comfy, fits me perfectly in my opinion. I'm gonna give it a nine because as much as I don't care that it's see-through, I wish it wasn't, obviously. But yeah, babe, stop. <laughs> babe. Ah! <laughs> babe, I'm leaving that in. I am making a meal simplistic a little olive oil two eggs and two three and four baby baby i'm gonna take one of these black bean quinoa burgers and i'm simply gonna put it in the microwave so on my eggs i'm just gonna put some pepper what what baby how much pepper are you putting baby enough for the whole army garlic powder smidge a little bit some tapatio some mexican Shredded cheese. Bloop. And this is going to be scrambled. So the veggie burger is done. So I simply just throw her in there. I promise you guys it's so good. This is in replace of like breakfast sausage or something. In my opinion, the corn in this is actually so good it's so weird like you wouldn't think to add corn in eggs it's just like what that's so weird i'm going to take a uh this is a carb balance tortilla i want her to get kind of warm so just gonna do that situation type deal oh yeah see come feel it's burning hot okay, and then i simply roll her up Ooh. Honestly, if I had salsa, I'd probably add salsa. Why isn't this closing? All right, taste test. Hi, am. Hi, am. My name is Evelyn Reed. Who are you? I don't even recognize you. My name is Bertha. The most hated YouTuber? All right, ready? Oh, this is freaking hot. I'm so hot. I dropped egg. Ooh. I don't like ketchup, but I feel like with a little bit of ketchup, this is very much like pineapple on pizza. Ketchup on eggs. There's two sort of peoples, you know? 10 out of 10. All right, folks, we have a grocery haul. Ten forty-eight. Ten forty-eight. Ten forty-eight. Want to lose weight? Ten forty-eight. Millions of people all over America are saying ten forty-eight, the password for losing up to ten pounds in forty-eight hours with a Hollywood forty-eight hour miracle diet, the one with a marquee lights. I lost ten pounds in forty-eight hours. I lost six pounds in forty-eight hours. I've lost eleven pounds in forty-eight hours. And in two days, in forty-eight hours, I lost sixteen pounds. No other diet plans has the doctor tested and people proven power formula 1048. It was easy. I kept the weight off. It's like the magic wand effect. It just comes off in 48 hours. Diet, cleanse, and rejuvenate your body with the Hollywood 48 Hour Miracle Diet. This works. Start losing weight today. Call 1 800 New Diet to order the safe and effective Hollywood 48 Hour Miracle Diet and find out how you can get a free bottle of Quench, the world's first diet water. Call 1 800 New Diet. Like, constantly eating like small meals frequently throughout the day it has been working very very well for me and also my girlfriend has been doing that as well she's following in my footsteps how we eat like a bunch of small meals a day because it just like works so we have a grocery haul all right i got some potatoes the near future i'm gonna try to mimic the kfc bowl so got some potatoes we got some strawberries some cool whip we got some steak, Parmesan cheese, some homestyle classic chicken gravy for the famous bowl, cause why not? So I got three of these. I like to have these as a side or sometimes literally as just my meal. The creamy four cheese rice aroni, uh, Italian dry salami, just these. Um, I have noticed you guys, taste buds do change because I used to be a vegetable gal. I used to hate fruit. I used to force myself to eat it. And honestly, no. I don't have to force myself at all. I honestly love fruit now, and I love that for me. <laughs> so I got some of this zero sugar lemonade. Got some heavy whipping cream, because my girlfriend wants to make daddy's pasta. So 
tomorrow but like a healthier version usually we use chicken sausage but i think we're just gonna use like plain chicken which in my opinion is a healthier alternative so i got three of these vermont white cheddar mac and cheese and the last thing something else that we really enjoy have been these chicken pot stickers i'm super weird when it comes to like meat especially inside of pot stickers but this brand you guys if you guys get creeped out with stuff like that you won't with this i promise it's 100 all white meat for a whole pack is 470 calories but the serving is actually for half the pack so half the pack is only 190 gives me my girlfriend we both have one at the same time and then i make like the sauce which is like sriracha and soy sauce and such I'm excited to try this whole like KFC bowl. I don't know because you guys know I was obsessed with it. So I wanna see if I can kind of like make it healthier. Um, obviously like a big difference is gonna be, it's not gonna be like popcorn chicken. It's gonna be just like grilled chicken. Okay, so topic of the day. Does Amberlynn Reed fit in the new office chair? <laughs> One thing about me, I don't like sitting back in chairs. I like to sit with my back straight up, ready to rumble. You can read a little book. You can get like a little, maybe a small little table, do your journaling. So I've actually been getting a lot of questions about this on my Instagram, about the book I'm reading, A Little Life. I do want to give an update. It has taken me a hot minute to read it. I'm not done. I'm on page like 470. Um, the actual only time I read is right after I take my melatonin or right before I go to bed. I feel like that's the only way I can fall asleep, but I know like a symptom of menopause is having a hard time falling asleep, which I already have a hard time falling asleep, so now it's just like way worse, unfortunately. The book is crazy in the sense of like, the main character Jude has been through so much traumatizing things. He just got out of an abusive relationship that was so crazy, but something currently really good is happening for him, and I feel like something bad is fixing to happen. I've read some crazy things in my life, but it's not like, I'm not like bawling my eyes out over here. I'm not like too shocked about um, the things that are happening because I have read some some crazy stuff in the past. Um, I read a wide, read a wide, <laughs> read a wide range of books. So, but yeah, so far the book's really good. I'll probably finish it within the next like week or something. I don't know. But I do want to end this vloggy vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Did span across. Um, over a week yeah because i was sick it was just like a cold it wasn't anything like serious or anything y'all need to worry about or anything like that i just felt like under the weather and i just didn't feel like filming because i would have been it would have been more boring than i already am right okay anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you in my next video bye you in my sight I keep all the words you said to me I get you, get you, get you, get you on your knees Rewrite all the things you said that I should be